All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is the last video that we are going to be doing because we have finished everything except for building a finished copy of the game that we can have on our computer. Even if we don't have Unity installed on a computer, we can install this on any computer um, <clears throat> and launch our game and play it on any computer. So we, we have yet to build a game uh, version uh, that we can do that with. So that is our final step. Let's get started. So before we had a look at this build settings, and um, the most important thing that we need to do right now is to just be sure that um, all of the scenes that we want included in the game are here, and that the first one in the list, this number zero uh, scene, is actually the um, <clears throat> our intro scene, because that's the one that when, when we launch the game outside of Unity, Unity is automatically going to load whatever's first in this list. That's where the game will start. So, as long as we have that, um, we are in good shape. And, of course, if yours, uh, if your intro scene is not here, uh, if it's down here somewhere, you can just grab that and drag it up. And uh, mine's all out of order now because I did that. And I just put it back. So you can see, you can drag things around and get the order correct there. <clears throat> It, it kind of doesn't matter. Um, in other scenarios, it will matter what order these other things are in. Um, but f the, the, the one that always matters is what's first in the list. Okay, so now, before we actually go down here to the build setting, I want to encourage you guys to have this other step. Go to your uh, system. I've got a, a, um, a folder that I've set up here um, where all my fireball stuff is going to be built to, but I'm actually going to I'm going to create a new folder specifically for this, and I'm going to call it Fireball Build or something. I want you to create the place where you're going to put this before you ever get Unity to start doing it. Um, fireball Build. So that's where I want this thing to go. And because your 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 computer's system here, um, the Finder in on a Mac or... Uh, Windows Explorer on, on a Windows machine, they're all going to give you much better options about how you manage where the files are and what you're doing with them than you are going to be able to do inside of Unity. Uh, so um, my folder exists. Let's go back here to the build settings. And um, <clears throat> most people just click build and run. I like to use separate steps. Um, I'm probably just weird. I'm probably the only person on the planet that clicks build instead of build and run. Um, but right now, I'm going to click build. Now, on my Mac here, in order to see where everything is, I'm going to click on that. So, let's see. I am in the Fireball folder, and I don't want to be uh, there. I want to find my new folder that I just made that's called Fireball, and I'm going to put it inside the Fireball build. So, I've picked the location, but I also need to pick what the name of this thing is going to be. So I'm going to main, name it Fireball um, V1. I'm just going to call it V1. Um, <clears throat> you can, uh, in general, you get your, um, you know, version 1.0 kind of stuff. That, um, that, that naming scheme is exactly what we're trying to do right here, except that the system doesn't like it when you include that in the file name because a dot... Uh, here is um, it, it uses that that system of, of adding a dot and a things after for file names, um, and every now and then you'll run into somewhere where the system gets confused about that and it it, it causes problems for you. So instead of using a 1.0 right here, um, uh, I'm just gonna no spaces again just in case v1, and if I wanted to have 1.0, I would actually use a dash instead just just so that uh, so to me, that means version 1.0. Um, there's no industry standard way to do this or anything like that. You just make sure that you pick a naming convention that makes sense to you that you're going to understand later. And then try to always try to think ahead. Oh, yeah, what if I come out with a version 2? What if I need to go back and make revisions, right? What if I, what if I make my revisions, but it breaks the game? Um, and I need to go back to an earlier one, you're going to want to be able to say, oh, yeah, this is version 1.0, this is version 1.1, version, you know, those kind of things. So, uh, <clears throat> and now I'm just going to click save, and it's going to build the game. So it's compiling into machine code everything that um, is part of the game. These files are going to... 
you're not going to be able to open them with Unity. To have that, you have to have your actual Unity project. So you would be able to deliver this thing that it's it's compiling right now. It's building the um, your game into the player. And uh, nobody that actually has this would be able to open it in Unity and mess with it or anything like that. <clears throat> so depending on... Uh, how fast your computer is and stuff, you will, um, that'll take a minute. So there it is. There's my fireball build, um, and it's automatically just duplicated the window. So there's my fireball build, and inside of it is the app itself. So I'm just going to double-click that, and we'll launch the game. So <clears throat> this is what you're going to see when your game launches, um, if you've done everything the same as I have. So, um... It's asking you about your screen resolution and stuff like that. Um, how do you want this thing to look? Um, <clears throat> my monitor is uh, 1080 by 920, uh, 1920. That's that's a 1080p monitor. Um, so setting it to that is probably fine. Uh, I could set it to be windowed. You can take all of this stuff and instead of having um, your game show this when you launch it like the consumer is going to see this first when they launch it the way that you have it you can actually make unity not do this and you can put it in the settings of your game stuff like that um uh that's that's a little bit above and beyond what we want to do here uh we've got a working version and that's good enough so i'm going to make mine smaller because i'm not using my entire screen for this i'm going to go down to a 720 um and i'm going to put it in a window um, just so we can make sure that you guys, I'm not showing my entire screen, but I want you to see the entire game here. So I'm going to click play, and here it is. This is my game actually running. Notice it doesn't say anything about Unity up here. Um, <clears throat> the game is called Will Dawson Fireball. I don't want my game to be called Will Dawson Fireball. That was just the name of the... Um, the name of the project folder that I had been storing all this in. So um, maybe I wanted to change the name, and maybe I want this to be called Jelly Bean War or something. Let's let's call it Jelly Bean War all of a sudden. I like I like that. So um, just to make sure that things work, I'm I'm gonna press Q right. You know what? Let's let's instead of going back and fixing the first thing, let's let's be a little bit more sensible about this and make a list. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make my list. Uh, I want the name that shows at the top of my window to not be Will Dawson and Fireball. I want it to be Jelly Bean Wars all of a sudden. So I'm gonna um I'm gonna press space to start the game. And uh I'm player two apparently. And I can shoot a fireball. Um my there's my opponent. Blast. Oh, man. This game is hard. Okay. And player two wins. And I'm back to the screen. Everything seems to work. I didn't try player one. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to make you sit through that. So um, definitely test your player one and your player two. But I'm going to hit Q to quit. And it exits the application. I'm going to say, so far, I mean, I haven't done very much testing, but everything seems to be how I want it. Um, nothing, nothing, is, nothing is really broken. Of course, I didn't try to pick up mana bottles. I didn't try to push myself through walls, uh, any of that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, there's definitely some some stuff that we're going to want to check on. Um, so let's have a look at where that name actually came from. Why was it called Will Dawson Fireball, which is the name of my project, not the name of my game? I don't want that to be the name of the game. Um, so I'm going to have a look at the player settings. I honestly, at the moment, uh, don't remember where, where to find that. Um, <clears throat> And player settings is exactly it. The product name right here. Um, when I when I clicked on player settings, it brought me directly. I'm just going to close this for a second, and let's expand this a little bit. So in the inspector, it's showing the project settings. So the company, um, I'm going to say the company is Will Dawson. That's me, right? And the product name is the name of your game that's going to show in the window. So I'm going to call that one Jelly Bean Wars. Um, <clears throat> I'm just calling it that so because it's different from Fireball. You know what? I went and put Fireball right in the name there. I can't call it Jelly Bean Wars. I have to call it Fireball. Otherwise, i got to go back and change the name over here. Um, the point is that you don't have to have this 
be the name of your game. You can, you can actually just write in whatever the name of the game is over here. And then there's some other settings um, that you could get to down here, but um, we're not, uh, not going to spend time on those right now because we want to just be finished. Um, so fireball, that's good enough. Now let's go back. Before we build this again, I want to do this. I want to go back to here. This is my Fireball app that's in the Fireball build. All right. Um, I think I'm going to actually come out here to the Fireball build. I'm going to... Uh, I'm not sure what I want to do with this. I want to, I, want to, I want to just remove that. I want to delete this. Except that I don't really want to delete this. Um, what, I, what I want to do is make sure that it's not in the way when Unity tries to build a new one. So I'm going to have, uh, here's my Fireball build. This is the folder where it's going to build to, right? And this is my version 1.0 app. So I'm going to just actually, I've got two windows here. I'm just going to drag it out of this one into the other one. So it's no longer here. It's no longer in my build folder. <clears throat> now, when I come up to uh, the build settings and I click build, Okay, um, I've had it sometimes where it, it doesn't ask again where I want to build this to. Um, in this case, it is asking me, so uh, maybe that was uh, an older version thing. Um, but yeah, I, I, I've had some bad experiences where, where things got messed up and it tried to build on top of an older build and stuff like that. So I'm really, um, I really like to, to make sure that nothing is in the way um, by moving things over here in, in the system folders. Uh, before we actually do this. So, okay, so this is going to be the version 1.1 1 .1, um, because, well, it's a second build. So let's hit save. And then we're going to wait. Excellent. And there's my version 1.1. 1 .1. I know which one I'm looking at because I named it that way. And... We're going to use 720. Oh, I forgot to put it in a windowed screen. So you guys are only see. I'm just going to quit that. Let me, let me launch that with a windowed. Um, so we can put it up here where you can see. And this time it says Fireball, right? So that's better. Um, you, I, I encourage you guys to um, go ahead and... Um, test the game a little bit more, right? Spend some time trying to break this thing and um, and see if you can um, find anything that really, really, really needs to be fixed before you before you continue. Um, other than that, I think we're in good shape. There is one other thing that I want to mention, but this this is this is it really. So I'm gonna hit Q to quit. Um, because I'm on a Mac, it likes to bundle everything together into a single file here. <clears throat> when you're on a Windows machine, you're not going to see it that way. You're going to see a lot of files. Um, so actually, this this dot app uh, file extension on a Mac is a wrapper. So basically, this is actually a folder um, that contains a lot of smaller files. On a Windows machine, I believe you're just going to see all the files in this folder. And so instead of grabbing one of these and dragging it into the other, um, you're going to have to actually find the one that's the dot exe. Like um, the dot exe is the executable file that will launch the game and everything else is helper files that 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 main file refers to when it runs. So, um, yeah, just, just uh, know to expect that, um, expect that difference and uh, you should be in pretty good shape. So uh, that's the end of the video, I think. Um, if you are in my class watching this, then this file right here, if you're on a Mac, or this entire folder that contains all the files um, for your Windows. Uh, what I'd like for you to do is um, attach that to, let's, you know what? Load that into your Google Drive and share it to me so that I can uh, get it. I don't think it's a good idea to, to be passing stuff that's this big around on, um, through email or, or something like that. So let's just share, uh, download links through Google Drive. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys really uh, learned some stuff and became comfortable with Unity because it's an extremely powerful tool and it's free. It's available to you. 
So you can just continue to mess with it um, or you can use it. I mean, shoot, this is great resume stuff, right? There, there are jobs in Unity way outside the gaming industry. Um, real estate, um, simulation for, I mean, there's, there's training, there's, there's all kinds of, of stuff like that. Architecture, uh, mock-ups, um, yeah, there's, there's a lot of applications for, for Unity. So, um, or Unity-like skills. If you want to get uh, into Unreal Engine or, or a, you know, CAD software or something like that, the skills that you learn by, by operating Unity uh, translate well to a lot of other applications. So, um, once again, I hope you guys had fun. I hope you made something that you like. Um, I encourage you to continue to build your game into a bigger, cooler thing than, than what we did here. Um, have fun with it, you know, or stop with it and, uh, and build a new thing that you like better. Um, the, the, yeah, use those skills. Otherwise you, uh, you know, you come back three years later and you've forgotten where everything is. So, um, all right, guys, thanks for everything. Bye.